Hello everyone. In this video, you'll learn how you can use permissions and roles inside Finity to secure access to your sites, streamline backend governance, and ensure you enable or restrict the right people to do the right set of actions. This video is primarily for site administrators, but can also benefit any user with the proper roles and permissions. Let's start with permissions. Essentially, what you do is define rules that either grant or deny a user rights to execute an action, called a security action, on a site, page, or content level. Such an action may be creating a blog or publishing a blog post, for example. Once a user attempts to complete such an action, Sitefinity checks whether their account and associated roles have the proper permission to proceed. Roles, on the other hand, help site administrators group a specific set of users and collectively assign them a specific set of permissions. As a site administrator, you can use roles to effectively manage permissions by classifying users with similar responsibilities and grant them access to similar parts of Sitefinity. You can implement content governance policies such as editors can create blog posts but not delete them, or only designers can modify page templates. Technically speaking, each permission provides either a deny or allow value for the specific action it governs. Being a security-first CMS, Sitefinity ensures that only users with explicitly assigned permissions can execute specific actions. You can easily modify the default permissions in the Permissions setting page. Sitefinity has more than 200 security actions that help you fine-tune how users access and operate with Sitefinity resources. To help you with this task, the Permissions page is split into three panes – By Section, User, and Role. In the Section pane, you can browse all permissions that Sitefinity supports out of the box. Permissions are visually grouped so you can easily find the one you're looking for and configure it properly. The User pane gives you a list with all accounts in the system and lets you manage each account's permissions. Last but not least, you can manage the permission by role, so you can pool in multiple users to a single role with very specific permissions, say for the accounting department. Let's check out Sitefinity permissions in action in a typical content governance scenario. You are the site administrator of the Quantum Marketing corporate website. You need to implement a content policy whereby users with role editors are not allowed to delete blog posts. Let's do it. Open the By Role tab and click on the Editors role. Locate the Blog section and click Change. You can see all the current permissions related to blogs assigned to the editor's role. Click Show to modify the permissions. Simply select the Deny checkbox for the Delete Blog and Posts permission and then confirm your choice. Now, whenever your editors try to delete a blog post, they'll be notified that they don't have the appropriate permissions. Next, let's focus on roles. You can start off with one of the built-in Sitefinity roles, such as administrators, editors, or users, that already have a set of permissions assigned. These roles are a good starting point for a typical CMS scenario, so you can assign them to users right away. Of course, you can create new roles, define their sets of permissions, and then assign users to these new roles. Users can be assigned to any number of roles, and role permissions are inherited. Let's try it out. Say you just got assigned by the management of Quantum to implement a new content governance policy. PR team must be able to work with news, but no other parts of the site. So first, we need to create a new role. Click Create a Role. Give it the name PR and click Create. 
Now let's configure it. First, set the permissions. Click Permissions. Locate the set of permissions named News and click Change. Select the permissions you want to assign to the role, then simply Confirm. When you're ready, click Back to All Items. Now all you need to do is assign the newly created role to your PR team users. That's it, we're done! We hope you enjoyed this overview of Sitefinity roles and permissions. In our next videos, we'll explore the Sitefinity security model in more depth. Thank you.